Hi Aquarius, welcome to your quantum reading. This is for Aquarius Sun Moon Rising. Welcome to my cross watchers. Cross watcher, maybe you are dealing with an Aquarius and the message actually just could be for you. So feel free to take it however it resonates with you and your situation. Nice. Keep in mind that these are general and timeless readings. If you guys are wanting to check out any of my services, my website is linked down below. You can also follow me over on Instagram. That information is also down below. And thank you guys so much for liking, subscribing. Thank you for all the ways you have been here and just supported the channel. And let's dive in. Okay. Wow. We have amazing goodness. Look at this. So you have inner peace and community. How appropriate for Aquarius because you rule the 11th house. Okay, so I love this. You might be finding peace in your tribe or community. Okay, there's all about that, that you want to keep things peaceful. Um, or there's a huge part of that where community is very strongly coming forward towards you, especially for those of you, if you're dealing with any kind of conflict, it looks like community is backing you up or being there for you or trying to help you come into some kind of inner peace. So, or maybe you are providing that for those of you that are involved in a community, there's just like a lot of peace that you're finding there that I would look for that. Look for, especially for those of you, just be conscious of that. Like if you have people that are anyway trying to discount you in, in any way, I would get away from them, okay? It's really about you feeling peaceful and calm and that's what you want to, like that's what you want to be involved in over this next week because you have this density energy. I feel like something kind of heavy or thick that you're dealing with. And then you have Aurora Polaris, which is fascinating. This is all about like beauty. Very interesting combination because um, there could be something coming up, especially for those of you. If you're dealing with your opposite sign, you could be dealing with a very attractive energy. And you might have your own attraction too. This is literally, it's pure natural beauty. And you might be coming into that. Maybe you're getting involved in a community because you see how this is all about. The only way you're going to be able to really truly transform is if you have some kind of inner peace. And I think you need to really dissect some elements of your life and look at an area where if it's it's feeling very dense or thick to take that into serious consideration and try to find something different that can give you some kind of inner peace because you want to keep activating that as you because this is something that will feel like it weighs you down okay that that might be some kind of thing external so you are all about inner peace okay I also feel like a lot of it is coming up around this pure natural beauty. Some of you guys might be that, like your natural beauty. And you might be finally coming into peace with that. Look at the freaking cards. Wow. Wow. Okay. You will probably be getting a lot of freaking attention over this next week. I don't know what you guys do if you're like performers or... You know, if you're in some kind of social setting and you get a lot of recognition, there it is right there. And there you are in the star card energy. Because now you're moving up. And I think it's about being able to get that inner peace. That's where you're going to get back on track. Because there's something very thick and heavy over there. And I and I know you're, you feel like that weighs you down. And so I think that you're starting to figure out what kind of makes you more light in your energy and you're coming into some kind of natural beauty. Okay, some of you guys might be kind of focused on that, that you are like, like staying connected with Venus. I'm going to just put it lightly like that, like all about your transformation at this time. You have the King of Swords. You could be dealing with another air sign and you have the sun card. This is gorgeous. I want to almost put it right there because this is amazing. This king of swords is like, technically that is you. 
Okay, you have the Five of Pentacles. That's his King of Swords. What was the other card that flipped out? There was another one. Oh, you have the Ace of Pentacles. See? Okay. Some of you guys might be starting up something new. You might be moving in. Maybe it's a new job. Oh, this is the Temperance. Why did I think that was the Ace of Pentacles? Wow. You have the Temperance. Wow. That is full-blown, like, patience. You're in a place of inner peace or balance. I just feel, I love it because you're just moving into some good energy. Look, you really do have support. Look at that. Three of Pentacles and the Three of Swords. Wow. That's what's helping you. So it's like you have these different energies that are coming in. On one side, something painful has come up to the surface. Some of you guys could be... Also, you could be dealing with a bit of fragmentation. Some of you guys could be trying to bring your energy all back in and you might be trying to, I would look for a community where you feel completely supported because I think that's really going to help you thrive because look at you in this place. I think if you've been looking for that, you're going to find that there's this temperance where if anything came up to the surface, if it felt like a betrayal or anything, I think things will be made right, okay? Because it feels like, to be honest, some of you guys could have been dealing with possibly another air sign, but this person could have done something. I don't know if they rejected you or you rejected them. You might be needing to reject them at this time to come into some kind of internal balance, but um, I almost wonder if... Okay, let's put this for instance. Let's say you're in this star energy, you know, you're trying to heal yourself and you're coming into some kind of inner peace. There could have been a person that came in, aka a cerebral narcissist. This person could have been very strategic about possibly trying to get you to abandon yourself or your self-care. And that's why I would be cautious of that because there can literally be, and sometimes this can be unconscious where you're like shining in some way. This person might not be, they might feel left out. Honestly, Aquarius, I think that's a part of it. This person might just feel kind of, I don't know if you rejected them at one time, but they have this ultra sensitivity to this. Okay, like it really brought something up to the surface for them. And you might have been all king of swords. Like you, maybe you also, but it's like requiring a lot of, higher consciousness for you to not like pull into the same karma because this person might try to do something pretty strategic to get you to like abandon yourself or your self-care and your ability to like grasp on and, and see the reality of the situation. I think that's a little bit of your process coming in because you have the hanged man and that could be that you are looking at different elements of this. This is a lot of support and I think you will see that over this next week. There could have felt like, um, but I see that there's a lot of help coming in, like a support system coming in to like come in and help you out. And then we have the ace of wands and the lovers. Oh, wow. <laughs> okay. So there could be something very fiery. Look how appropriate that is. Aquarius. Okay. Things are going to settle down. I think that you might, I think recently you could have come out or had some kind of attention on you. Like you could have been full blown in the spotlight and I think it could have surprised some people. Yeah. Oh. Yeah, totes. There's just particular people that you're kind of seeing whatever came out. When you did this, the six of wands coming out and receiving attention, Something shocking could have come up to the surface and you felt like someone tried to, like, do that. Okay? And now you've got to put your boundaries up there. It's just like you're... Those are popping up like freaking daisies, you know? They're just kind of popping up here and there where you're starting to kind of see, like... Okay, th this energy isn't as s supportive as I thought or you know, um, maybe doesn't have the best of intentions, but I, I, it's all about figuring out 
the reality of that. And this is tricky energy to deal with because for those of you, if you were dealing with someone super sensitive, didn't handle if you rejected them at this time and there could have been some resentment that built up over a period of time, that energy could be surfacing. But it's like, as long as you kind of stay in a high vibration, I think things will work out, especially for those of you if if you felt like community was affected. It's almost something about that, Aquarius. For those of you that you have like a networking situation, it's like you might be starting to see that things get affected through like through networking and you might be healing your networking associations do you know what i mean because three of pentacles with the three of swords it's very interesting and the temperance the te temperance is like making amends making peace um acceptance it's like a peaceful outcome that's going to come in here so i love that this literally came out in the freaking cards, which is really surprising. I love when that happens. But just know, too, you guys are moving into your transformation with that Aurora, Aurora Polaris. It's pretty amazing. It's a, it is a very natural beauty. And there might be an energy that really wants to come in. You'll probably be feeling very, very passionate this time. It doesn't surprise me with this Pluto Aquarius thing, especially the retrograde there might be a lot more passion coming in at this time. I don't know if that's a positive thing or not, it, it, but I would definitely focus on the new energies because it looks like to me, Aquarius, you do have new energies that are making an appearance. This is a very interesting reading. But your community will like that's where you find peace look for that Aquarius I can't say that enough seriously go find whatever your tribe looks like or find some kind of place where you feel very accepted for you and all your unique craziness and that's going to help you to build yourself up or to kind of feel at peace with whatever this density is because something feels very thick and heavy over there and you might just want to get back in your body and get focused on that. And that's going to help you move through this. But just know, Aquarius, there's a new energy. I don't know if they've made themselves known to you yet. But there could be a person that's very attracted to you, like full-blown. They think you have, like, you're a very naturally beautiful person. And someone might want to link up with you. It looks like a little bit more on the passionate side. I'm not going to lie. And that's up to you guys what you want to do with that situation. But there's a person that definitely is like very drawn to you. Whatever that means. <laughs> Let me dive into the extended. I'll see whatever else wants to come out. If you guys want to join me over there, of course, feel free. Go down below, click on the Vimeo link, see you over there. But Aquarius, if this is where we leave things, I'm sending you so much love. Wishing you all the very best. See you in your next reading. Take care.